did paper towel gardening. Um, it's a activity that um, uses a very um, content, so you could use math and you could use science with this. So um, the objective is to create seed maps and transplant template to help organize and lay out the garden. So this is kind of getting getting students ready to see. Um, they, they kind of map it out on a um, paper towel and then um, get to go kind of translate that out into the garden. And so students get to write, um, divide it up into how many um, squares that they need, how, how much they need for um, each seed because seeds, some seeds are small and some seeds are big and some plants grow really tall and some plants grow really small. And so they have to kind of figure out how much they can grow um, and look at the data to see if they need to be planted in the fall or in the spring. Um, and so it gets them, gets, gets them the idea of how plants grow and gets them germinating um, plants to use. Um, I've done something similar to this in the classroom um, with my students and they get to grow their own plants and then they get to eat them and they think it's really cool. Um, but we're gonna talk a little bit about um, how we can use it in math. And, um, oh, one other thing that's kind of cool to do as well is you can use this for companion um, gardening. So you can see some things go really well together. Um, things like onions and tomato uh, and potatoes don't really go really well together with other things. So you can talk about companion plants and um, how plants work together, um, commensalism and stuff like that. That's more of eighth grade. Um, so yeah, other stuff. We talked about how maybe if you were, like say this was the middle school or even elementary school, you could incorporate math in it. At the elementary school level, they do rays and everything. So you could talk about if the peas, it said that they that you can do 12 peas um, per square. So you talk about, okay, well, how are we gonna figure out how, how, which where we put them? Are we gonna do three rows of four? Or, you know, two by six? And, and then um, at the higher level, say if they were in middle school, they did this in science class, you could discuss, well, maybe you could do all these different ways to break up the, um, the paper towel, but where are we gonna plant it? Like what's gonna fit and which plants are we gonna be able to fit in there and how many of each type of plant can we fit in there? And then the volume of the soil because different ones need different depth. And um, so you can incorporate that into the lesson. And then for science, we were talking about, um, it fits really well with second grade because they're talking about the needs of plants, what plants need to grow. Um, and then even up through the elementary grades um, and up in the middle school too, it's the design and experiment. So they, you could use this as, um, I get to plant three different squares of the same seeds. I'm gonna water them the same, but I'm gonna put them in three different locations in the garden center and see which one grows the best or maybe use different types of water to water them. So you have that one variable that you're changing. So you're thinking about designing an experiment and then graphing the results and um, recording and all that. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay. Thank Good you so job. much.